<clears throat> well, okay. Hello and welcome, everyone. Welcome to Head of Game today. I am actually gonna do a breakdown video for the actual newer se season of Gotham uh, that is c coming up this year because we are in the episode 15 or 16 of Gotham season 4. I actually lost track, but basically we can see Bruce Wayne is actually getting darker. Like he he's holding a mask which is ob obviously the mask that he wore before he killed Rish al Ghul. But basically, if you guys have been keeping up with Gotham, you know what I'm talking about. This is a pretty good f photo of a visual what he is doing right now. <laughs> we just randomly see in the tra tra trailer screenshot that I took that Barbara Keane is uh, turning around and she looks pissed off. She looks like she's about to flip. But who is this big guy here? Well, <laughs> it's actually quite interesting because if you remember a few episodes ago, she killed off Butch Gilzine. And that's a kind of a bit of a shadow, but we know that it's someone strong. It's someone strong. It's not Solomon Gr Grundy anymore. It is actually Butch Gilzine in the flesh now. He still looks like Solomon Grundy, but he has his memories back. Basically, from from two episodes ago, that was. Two weeks ago now, so he he has his uh, full memories back thanks to T T Tabitha. So it's really interesting to see how Butch uh, Gilzine is coming back. Who's his real name actually? I actually forget. Comment down below if you n remember in Gotham his real name when those two guys were were asked to dump him in, in the river. But basically, Butch is back. And he looks really messed up here. Okay, so we can see Lucius Fox and Jim Gordon running out inside from it looks like the somewhere around the GCPD or the the warehouse that they were uh, searching for Harvey from from his home. Uh, Back in the, in the last episode, I cannot be sure. I cannot stress this enough. I cannot be sure what this is because I only watched the episode once. But basically, here it is. They are exiting a building, possibly around the GCPD. This looks like what used to be Fish Mooney's territory that became Penguin's territory. But it looks interesting enough. Now, here's a one photo of Dr. Lee, Lee Tompkins. She goes by Doc now. But she she still looks pretty good. Um, hang on. Here's a better photo of her. Now, the breakdown of the episode that's coming up, I don't really know what's really going to happen. All we know is that Nigma is in Arkham now thanks to Penguin. Bruce Wayne and uh, the Wayne Foundation, where, uh, where everything went crazy after, after the one break breakdown, he did an amazing speech for. For his butler, uh, Pen Alfred Pen Penny's worth, and Poison Ivy broke in and just demolished the place. But thank God Bruce put, put on a, a bit of a hood and just took on those guards. He was shot accidentally by Jim Gordon, but Jim Gordon didn't know it. I love touching moments and this was a touching moment be between Bruce and uh, Alfred 
in the last episode, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, it was last week's episode that this was in. That they were trying to make up uh, through, through the lost times and all that. Because it was five episodes ago that he fired Alfred. And you can just see the sadness and and everything in Bruce's eyes there as he's just trying to make amends but Alfred doesn't t take it that well in this part of the show but what I'm as we see which is going to be tonight it could be really better now obviously Selena Kyle Catwoman, or she just wants to be a cat, but whatever. We know her very well as Catwoman and Selena Kyle. But it looks like she's trying to break in to somewhere. It looks like behind her is the shades of the, the window where she, she saw I, Ivy before, but I can't be sure be. Because, uh, again, I've only seen these episodes once or twice. So, I, I'm sorry, guys, if you think I'm bad at this. But this is a breakdown for this series. Now, we can obviously tell that Oswald is in, in stress and anger here. But we don't know what it is. Because this part of the episode uh, for the Gotham series has not come up yet. This is just a new glimpse of what we're going to see if Oswald, Jerome, and Enigma do get out of Arkham very shortly. I can guarantee, since we saw the last episode, that Pen Penguin Oswald Cufflepot got wrote a note to, to Edward, and it wasn't Edward reading it, it was the Riddler reading it. And the, and the riddle was, what has two eyes but cannot see and was that in front of him? And it actually specifically had a few clues in the letter that, uh, that he was pleading for, uh, for her enigma to come in and see him in, in Arkham. So he went to Arkham and um, then Penguin begged for him to uh, for help this this was a perfect shot of riddler when enigma and riddler were going back and forth when he was trying to figure out what to do because he didn't want to endanger lee Tom tompkins at all but yet his uh, counterpart was getting stronger again so that's kind of why he went back to uh, arkham now, here we are again, Selena Kyle, using her web or t tossing a g gas bomb, I, I don't know. I only seen this one part of an episode just once, and it was like really quick for 15 seconds or, or whatever. But anyways, this is really amazing shot of Selena. Now, when Alfred was trying to help her... Hey, young woman is trying to get home and all, all that. The uh, so-called boyfriend killed her, but that's not what's going on. In this shot, I I correctly remember that it it was Poison Ivy's bomb that, that was go, going off or, or something. But hey, whatever. Jim Gordon and uh, Alfred witnessed it outside the crime scene. Jim Gordon goes to see Sophia Valcone again, but why is no why is that again? Because like he's a chief uh, of the the GCPD, he's the commissioner now. So basically, he's high ranking G GCPD now. These uh, glimpses that I'm showing you are just glimpses. Of what the episodes are like. They are not the finished or burnt product of the, 
the episodes are per se, but we can very well see that this is going to be a really good series and a good arc in Gotham. Now, getting back to Bruce one last time. When he was in the coma or whatever from Poison Ivy, a.k.a. Ivy Pe Pepper, he was hallucinating and seeing his darker self. But it was really cool because it was his stronger suit that was coming to the surface. Now, now here, here it is. You may not see it that well, but if you can see the outline that there of a shadow, it's his counterpart of the Batman. So that's really good. And when the shadow figure just, just spreads his arms like that, you can very well see that it's the shape of the Batman. And it is so amazing how the whole series of Gotham has been animated with the different features of 3D and stuff and also the the mirrors that they used for different kinds of trajectories it was amazing and then the shadow scattered and broke into all baths so you can clearly see he is now fully the batman very shortly i will do a review on uh, on to tonight's episode of Gotham, for sure, I will do a review, because I love Gotham. Comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram as Hato Game. Follow me on Twitter as Haydenberg. And follow me on Facebook, Hato Game. And go go to Twitch and and follow me there as Halo Game, and just basically yeah, I'm just me Halo Game. All right, guys, and thank you guys for watching. Peace.